You open it right now? Hey man, I need you to take this real quick survey on how you do compared to the pros. Dad, Jerry found out where we live, we're moving. I ain't coming back. Welcome back to another episode. Triple F Branch. My stuff came in from Amazon today. Got a couple of things in this package. Number one being a hat clip for my GoPro to go on the front lip, front visor of my hat. Kind of go through what that's going to be used for instead of this. I hate using this thing. Number two. My goose call, my very, very first goose call. So this video is gonna be revolved around me using a goose call for my first time. So I'm either going to embarrass myself or impress myself. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. So we're gonna get this package open, see what's in it. I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna start getting into waterfowl hunting quite a bit. I love bird hunting. There's a lot more action to it. Get this package open. And we're gonna get right to it. If you're ever gonna use scissors to open a manila envelope like this, make sure all your stuff is at the bottom of the package. Make sure it's not up here. Because if it's up here and you start cutting, you're gonna cut right through your stuff. All right, dang, that's stiff, good Lord. So the first thing to come out of this package is this hat clip. I'm gonna explain why this thing is probably gonna be way better than what I've been using. This right here, you guys can see that pretty well, is a clip that goes on the bill of your hat, just like this. It's fine, works out good, until you put the GoPro on it. I put the GoPro on it for the first time, and over time, the hat would move back down. You constantly have to be readjusting with this thing. So the reason why it's constantly pulling down because it's right on, the GoPro is sitting right on the front part of the bill of your hat. So it's constantly weighing the front end down. If you guys understand, like, you know, gravity and scientific stuff and mathematical stuff and how a fulcrum works. So you guys understand how any of that works, the way it constantly pulls the front, front of the hat down. There's another way you can use it though. You can actually take this foam piece right here and you can stick it on, I wear snapbacks because I can't stand wearing anything but a snapback. You can slide it on there, it works pretty good, but it constantly twists back and forth. This on the other hand is a head strap. Now with me using, I've got one camera, it's my GoPro. So I use this, if you guys watch any of my dove hunting videos or any type of video that I use this, so I get it all set. I kind of peel the head off like this, make sure the GoPro is centered. It's probably not gonna be centered for you guys. If you gotta work it back and forth, you guys, you guys can see how much work it takes to actually get this thing on. You put the GoPro on, take a few shots at a few birds. In my case, I probably missed them. And then all of a sudden, if you wanna start talking back to the camera, you take this off. Gee, yeah, it's a $2,000 laptop. Adjust it. So you can see the back of the screen, make sure it's on the settings that you want it on, and you start talking. Then all of a sudden, you gotta put this back on your head, what I just did, and then the best way for me to do it is take actually my Snapchat and take it and record it and go around my head and make sure you have the angle of the camera right so you guys can get quality shots. Too big of a pain in the ass. You guys can also follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Snapchat. I do not have Facebook. That's for another time. So I got this thing. It is a clip that actually just clips on your hat. I see Bobby Guy Films using one. If you guys don't know who this guy is, go check his channel out. I will leave a link in the description box below for his channel as well. He does some killer videos. His new shot cam, Goose Hunt with ghillie suits. That was a fire video. Bobby Guy Films, if you're watching this, that was an amazing video. Awesome. Thumbs up for that. So this is probably definitely going to work way better. It actually brings the GoPro about halfway past the front part of the bill of the hat. So this is going to bring, obviously, the weight of the GoPro more towards your head. Because if it's over here, 
your hat never falls forward, it's perfectly fine. I wish it would butt up to this, but what I'll actually be able to do is be able to set the camera at a fixed angle and then be able to take it off the hat just like that. I won't have to mess with any straps and I can just take this and I don't know how it works yet. Oh, cool. I actually take this and just turn it around and use it just like that. And all I got to do, turn this back around, clip it back on my hat and I'm ready to go. It's going to save me a lot of time. It's going to save me a lot of frustration because if any of you guys do your own film, film any of your hunts and you use a head strap or anything like that, you know how big of a pain in the ass it is. So we're going to get this off to the side and we're going to get into what I'm super excited about. I'm pretty excited about that clip too. It's going to help. I think it's going to be a great product. Getting into the second thing, what this video revolves around. The Primo's Honky Tonk 866. I got on Google. They kind of pointed me in the right direction for a goose call. This thing was $29 from Amazon. I paid for extra shipping. With it being the holidays, if I didn't pay for shipping, it was either going to come Friday. Anyway, sorry about that. I'm going to get back to what I was saying. So I did pay for extra shipping, a little bit faster shipping, in order to get this thing by tomorrow, actually, which would have been Friday, but it did come a day early. Amazon, you guys are awesome with shipping. Seems like everybody likes this thing. It was the number one on the list for the best goose call. So I watched a few videos, kind of getting the sound profile right on this thing. I think it sounds a little bit better, but it's definitely going to take me some practice. It's on my way to work. I'm definitely going to be taking this with me. I can practice on the way there, practice on the way home. I'm going to do it a little bit more so you guys can hear it. I think I got the moan down pretty good, though. <laughs> That kind of has the same sound profile as a turkey call. There's a lot of vibration in that call. I can't get the high pitch yet. I can start out as a cluck and a moan, but I can't put the two together quite yet. So I'm wrapping up the video for tonight. It's definitely going to take me some practice. I didn't realize how hard it was actually going to be. I kind of figured with me being a turkey hunter, using a diaphragm call, it was going to come a little bit easier than that. There's way more that goes into it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you absolutely level that subscribe button for me. Leave a like and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. See you again. Triple F Ranch.